Tony Busby owns the tank, but his homeowners association says it has to go. Marcelino Benito spoke with the owner. Well, Ron, take a look. This is the real deal, an authentic World War II tank right in the middle of River Oaks. Today I talked to the man who owns it, Tony Busby. He told me he's not too worried about that HOA letter. In fact, he told me he will move his tank only when he is ready to move his tank. In the heart of River Oaks. Oh, and you can charge admission out here. Neighbors. It's great for America. Are coming face to face with history without ever leaving the neighborhood. This particular tank landed at Normandy uh, on D plus four, liberated uh, Paris, and ultimately went all the way to Berlin. This is a piece of American history. But for this type of vehicle, we would not have won the war. Attorney Tony Busby bought the fully functional World War II tank overseas last year for $600,000. Took a year to get here, and now it's here on River Oaks Boulevard. And the River Oaks property owners group isn't happy about it. And it's not violating any any ordinance, but for some reason it makes the Homeowners Association board uncomfortable. <laughs> they sent Busby this letter saying it impedes traffic, causes a safety issue, and is causing serious concerns for neighbors. If you're, if you're offended by it, I would tell you to lighten up. Just lighten up. I mean, my goodness, it ain't hurting you anyway. But finding those concerned neighbors wasn't easy. I wish it was permanent. Everyone we spoke to loves it. I think it's an asset. And I think if you watch the cars, everyone slows down and says, wow, that's America. You saw there was 15 or 20 people here this morning, uh, kids crawling up, parents taking pictures. And that's cool because it reminds people that, um, you know, what we're all about, what our history is about. Busby says he's not losing too much sleep over that HOA letter. For now, he's keeping his new tank right where it is. I guess they could ticket it. I guess they could try to tow it. Uh, but the truth is, until I decide to move it, it ain't going anywhere. Now, Busby says his tank will actually end up at his East Texas ranch. He tells me he plans to move this tank in about two weeks. Standing for Houston, I'm Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News.